what advice has he received from TPK on what option he should take if given an ultimatum between repealing the Seabed and Foreshore Act or stopping the increase to GST? The Honourable Georgina Tehu. Again, the Minister of Māori Affairs receives advice on a weekly basis on a lot of matters, including the foreshore and seabed, and along with a team of other ministers, he is considering all of the issues that are involved in this matter, and at a stage appropriate, uh, the, that member will be advised or help anyone else. Is it a point of order or supplementary? Note for the supplementary. Supplementary, the Honourable Shane Jones. To the Minister. In that sleigh of advice, what will she or he say to the 244,000 Māori who earn less than $30,000 as to obviously a candidate for partner order over order. What will they say? What will the Minister say no, to the order, 200... Order. I apologise for interrupting. Now, now look, uh, that's not very acceptable to have a member asking a question and other members yelling continuous interjection. We saw it led to disorder. I'd ask the Honourable Shane Jones to be a wee bit more moderate in asking What question. advice will the Minister give the 244,000 Māori who earn less than $30,000 as to why GST increases are going to be good for them? The Honourable Georgina Te here, here. The Member will have to wait and see what advice in the end he will give. Um, as was stated earlier, he is considering all of these matters as part of a total package of economic reform, as he knows, as a partner in a coalition, he should do, uh, given that, we, that they, he works very well with National. Point of order, order point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Yeah, speaker, I think I can probably just say Ebbard from the last one. Yeah, the member is perfectly correct. I'd just ask ministers, when they're answering on behalf of another minister, they're speaking as if they are that minister. And, uh, and ministers just should be mindful of that, that uh, shouldn't be referring to what another minister might be doing when they're answering on behalf of. They're answering as if they are that minister. Does the member wish to raise a point of order? Um, well, the Honourable uh, Georgina point of order, Mr Speaker. It would be good if there was some consistency in this, because the answers were given yesterday on behalf of the Minister of Māori Affairs, but the statement on behalf of the minister was not made. That member did not seem to object yesterday. Uh, no, 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 we're not going to, we're not going to get into an order, order. We're not going to waste House time on this. The standing orders are, are fairly clear on this matter, and the, the Honourable Trevor Mallard is, Mallard is quite correct. And, and it's not a, I didn't want to intervene, and it's not as if it's a, a huge issue. But I just, I, the reason why it's quite important is that ministers answering on behalf of another minister cannot evade a question by by uh, saying you know, some other minister may or may not do something because they are answering as if they are that minister. And that's why the standing order is drawn that way. Question number nine, Colin King.